The announcement that a local well-known businessman will handle the multi-million dollar redevelopment of the old Six Flags site came as welcome news to many in that community. And this latest development comes just a few months after WDSU Investigates took you inside here, the old shuttered park, to show you just how bad the conditions are. Our cameras, the first allowed inside by the city in more than 15 years. And for many in that part of New Orleans East, they say work on turning this into something vibrant is long overdue. She's out taking care of her property. In the Oak Island subdivision at the edge of New Orleans East, Lynette Sparrow has pride in her neighborhood. So it greatly upsets her with what's happened nearby at the old Six Flags site. Well, I really don't, uh, I'm not satisfied with it being abandoned. But it may not be shuttered for much longer, as Bayou Phoenix, led by businessman Troy Henry, will soon spend tens of millions of dollars redeveloping this site. As I initially, I bought out here in 83, and I was glad to see uh, Jasmine come. And now, with uh, improvement that they are proposing, I think that's even better. The move comes after a group that partnered with current Saints linebacker Demario Davis and former Saints quarterback Drew Brees pulled out agreeing to take over another site in New Orleans East to redevelop. In essence, it's a two for one for that part of the city. I've always been in a position where I've wanted to, to try to address the greatest needs of the city. And New Orleans East, one of those areas. Here in New Orleans East, there is a large Vietnamese community located not far from the old Six Flags site. Many business owners tell us they are excited to see this property finally get redeveloped. What do you think about the city announcing a partner to finally redevelop that Six Flags site? I think it's good. Yeah. Min Hong has several family businesses in the area. Yeah, it could be more traffic and everything. I think we'll please everyone because many people wanted it to be uh, more than just a hub. They wanted it to be some type of recreational facility or something like that. So it will uh, appease everyone. And none of this is going to happen overnight. It could take some significant time. Greg will have much more on that again coming up all new at 6. If you'd like to get an exclusive look inside the park and our stories that we did several months ago, go right now to WDSU.com. There we have a slideshow, a look from inside the park and what needs to be done for everything to get redeveloped.